The People's Trust for Endangered Species is an international conservation charity. We fund research all over the world and we run many monitoring programs of species and habitats right on our doorstep. Each species has its own set of problems, therefore needs researching on an individual basis. You have to work out what's affecting species before you can then start unpicking the really crucial factors in order to produce the guidelines which then go into conserving that species. Water voles are disappearing from the majority of the British countryside. We lost about 90% of the population. We set up one of the first reintroduction experiments anywhere in the world to test habitat quality. What water voles really need are wide swathes of vegetation bordering the watercourse and so you get much better population densities, much better survival rates. It's really important to focus on where species and animals actually live. There's no point in just looking after them if their habitat's being degraded. Half of our hedgerows have been lost over the last century, so we're working really hard with landowners and other wildlife organisations and volunteers to help not only put hedgerows back, but also to manage those ones that we still have to ensure they're in the best possible state for the wildlife that benefits from them. Traditional orchards are another really important habitat that we're looking hard to conserve. Traditional orchards are really important for a variety of species, not just mammals and birds, but also invertebrates. At any given time, we have as many as 50 different scientific research pieces of work going on, all of which are looking into how to improve conservation worldwide. And most importantly, we need to involve many thousands of ordinary people as volunteers. Volunteers are really important. They're a huge resource of thousands of people who can help us by taking part in conservation action in their own gardens. Hedgehog Street is a project that involves people across the country to make a difference for hedgehog conservation. There's 14,000 people already signed up, not just to act in their own garden, but to infuse and encourage their neighbours to take part in their whole street to make it a better habitat for hedgehogs. One of the key things we do is involve and include school children. We show them their animals that live in their countryside that they might know nothing about. We also involve them in workshops and involve them in our surveys so that they can learn about their countryside, their wildlife. Hazel dormice are one of the key species that we work with. They used to be found across the whole of England and Wales and in the last century they've suffered a severe decline. The National Dormouse Monitoring Programme is one of our key projects. It involves 250 sites across England and Wales. Volunteers counting the number of dormice they find, they're weighing them, they're sexing them. The data that we get can enable us to find out if the conservation measures that we're putting into practice are actually working. Just have a look inside to see if there's anything in there. And if it's a dormouse nest, the expectancy a woven nest and usually with green leaves around it. Over the last 20 years, the rapid decline that had been seems to have slowed. That may be due to the conservation effort because dormice are a species that you do need active woodland management. And we can now use this species to encourage uh, woodland managers or encourage landowners to manage their woods appropriately. If we're ever going to make any sustained difference in conservation, it's vital that we involve and engage as many people as we possibly can. And there are so many people who have not necessarily been scientifically trained can do an awful lot to help with the simple monitoring of species and habitats. And we need them to join in what we're doing.